Hi, my name is Nicole Pilatus, and today I'm going to be talking about the USA gymnastics scandal. So just an overview of everything I'm going to be talking about. I'm first going to touch on the scandal itself, and I'm going to be talking about the predator, Larry Nasser. I'm then going to talk about USA Gymnastics and the role that they played with the entire scandal. And then I'm going to talk about the survivors and three main people who really brought the scandal to light and helped take down Nasser. I'm then going to be talking about sociological factors in sexual assault, and I'm going to be hitting on violence off the field, research hypothesis about male athletes on women athletes, and then assaults by coaches, trainers, and doctors. And then I'm gonna be wrapping it all up into three main points. So just a little bit about the scandal and a little bit of background information about Larry Nasser. He actually majored in kinesiology at the University of Michigan in 1985. And then he actually joined the USA gymnastics team in 1986 as a volunteer and then they gave him a position in 1996 as the National Medical Coordinator. And from 1996, um, he really began sexually abusing girls right when he got this job. He sexually assaulted girls all the way from 1997 to 2016 and nothing was ever come out about it and he was never fired or anything. Um, he was eventually relieved of his job from USA Gymnastics in 2016, and I use that term relieved loosely because USA Gymnastics put out publicly that he was going to retire, and they never full on said that he fired him. Um, and then in 2016, he was also arrested and charged with three counts of first degree sexual assault. So kind of just the role that USA Gymnastics played in it. Um, they received their first sexual assault complaint from athlete A, who is later found out to be Maggie Nichols. And this complaint took a very long time to reach police hands. Um, and that was because Steve Penny, who is the CEO and president of USA Gymnastics, was trying to cover the entire thing up and bury the whole case. And it really wasn't until um, Andy Starr, a uh, journalist company, published uh, this article about USA Gymnastics where it all just was brought to light. Um, they really were the reason that Nasser was brought to justice because all these women helped Andy Starr to publish this article and really bring him down. And then Steve Penny was fired and eventually USA Gymnastics kind of had to stop trying to cover stuff up because they were already caught in the act. So eventually they cooperated with police. And there were um, 156 plus survivors. And three main people that I think really played a role in this was Maggie Nichols. She was the first person to report sexual abuse. Rachel Den Hollander, who was the first person to publicly accuse Nasser of sexual assault. And then Ali Raisman, who helped promote the Me Too movement and also um, stated that she was sexually assaulted by Nasser. And the Me Too movement is a movement that just promotes um, awareness to sexual assault with women and women empowerment. And um, 156 women read victim impact statements during Nasser's sentencing in 2018. So sociological factors related to sexual abuse, um, violence off the field. Most organizations are so focused on winning championships and the performance of their athletes that it's really just distracting from the larger issue of violence against women in US culture. Um, sexual assaults are highly unreported crimes. Look how long it took for this entire scandal to come out in itself because a lot of girls just don't want to report it because they just don't think anything's going to happen or come of it. And then hypo hypothesis research about male to women sports violence. Um, violence assault is seen as a display of manhood and control. If you look at the type of person Larry Nasser was, he had power and he had control and he 
fully use that to take advantage of little girls. And then assaults and sexual assaults by coaches and trainers. Um, public awareness has increased for athlete sexual assaults, which is really good, but there's still a long way that we need to come to fix this issue. And then conclusion. My main points, um, sexual assault is just a highly unreported crime in sports, and it definitely needs to be improved. Sexual assault occurs in people who have a complex figure, and then public awareness of sexual assault has increased, but it